So last night, if you didn't see, I actually got a new vape. This is going to be the Super Pure Runs by Pressure Pack. It is a one gram hash rosin disposable. So I did a little short on it and it looked like y'all pretty much enjoyed the short and y'all really wanted to know more about the battery because this is actually a really awesome battery. I've been ripping on it this morning and as you guys saw last night, it was, it, it, it pulls. Like this is not like one of those bad crusher batteries that don't pull hard or anything like that. This battery actually pulls. So starting us off pressure pack is like one of the top end companies in michigan when it comes to just flour and concentrates them north coast and a few others are like just the top of the top 710 as well because you know 710s out here i'm not joking when i'm saying i have seen their first tier fresh press rosin going upwards of 120 dollars a gram in michigan now i understand some states that may not seem too crazy 120 dollars a gram for some really high end the purest of pure high quality concentrate yeah maybe but at the same time we're in michigan and a place where i can go down to the store and go buy like 15 dollar eighths 10 dollar eighths and go buy 100 dollar ounces and less like they're in rosin i can go get for like 30 35 dollars a gram for good bras and i get piatella for 55 dollars a gram so like they're better options than that but at the same time there are some really high quality cannabis companies and pressure packs one of them right and i gotta say this right here and same with the 710 and i think this is why these really show up more than most batteries like in my opinion in terms of quality is because of the fact that they are proprietary hardware that are made by the manufacturer and what this allows is for the companies to actually have a better line of quality control so i understand that even though this battery was probably manufactured in china the same as a crusher battery at the same time Pressure Pack is putting more money into this and they're going to be trying to get their own custom hardware. So if you're spending more money on it, then chances are you are going to not want it to fail because if it does, well, then you're wasting more money. If you could buy a cheap battery and it work all the time, why would you buy an expensive one? right so i actually really love the battery plus it's purple if you guys don't know purple is my favorite color it's like my rose right here purple um so yeah let's go ahead and get a rip of our super pure runs cheers y'all so it is runcy but i do get kind of like the gelato taste and it's kind of funny because these are two things i necessarily wouldn't like gelato 33 and then runts or pure runts i'm not sure which one it is i think it's pure runts actually but those two would not be strains i would want to smoke together but when they are crossed together into this and i've actually smoked the flower of this too it is really solid and i don't know the super pure runs just seems really good it has a nice kind of like almost fruity taste you also get like creaminess from like the gelatos but you also get this kind of like floral almost like uh flower kind of taste by the way y'all i should figure i go over this number one terpene and this is going to be beta caryophylline which is my favorite terpene then we're going to have limonene and then beta myrcene with a total terpenes of 4.6% and a total cannabinoids of 77.4%, THC at 70.78%. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the hardest hitting disposables on the market right now in Michigan, for me at least. I really like the North Coast. I think it was really solid, but it was a half gram and it kind of went out quick on me. I have been literally chiefing on this morning last night and it still barely has gone down. So. I'm really happy with this so far. I mean, we'll see how long in terms of like longevity it'll go for me, but I am really hopeful about it, especially since it's a type C. And I know that may not seem like a big deal, but because you can charge this on a type C, that means this battery is a new age technology because it was not manufactured before with the type USB. So that's one of the small things, one of the little things that just make me overall like happier with this product it is definitely a worthwhile product if you can find your some in the stores but overall these vapes are absolutely awesome 
And I would go as to say this is probably the best vape I've had in Michigan to date. Honestly, it like you get this nice effect off of it. I'm already getting cotton mouth. I get the buzz behind the eyes. I get the head shift. I get a full body relaxing high. If you want to do a hash rosin vape, get your own proprietary hardware. If you want to do a hash rosin vape really well, make sure you put concentrate like this in there and I think everybody will be happy. I mean, this was $50 for me. Uh, so, I mean, that's not bad at all. So that's a $50 MSRP. And so that's not bad. I mean, people can go out and buy this. I mean, that's a reasonable price in my opinion for a one gram disposable of hash rosin. I think that's really solid. A lot of half gram disposables of hash rosin are $35, $40. Double that, that's 80 bucks. That's 70 bucks. That's more expensive than this. So, I mean, sure you can go buy $10 carts and you can go buy like $15 vapes and stuff like that throughout Michigan. But if you want just the best quality, I honestly think Pressure Pack, they've nailed it with their new series. That being said, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna say this is actually a 9.25 out of 10, the highest score this channel has ever received because honestly, that's how good these vapes are. It's just, these are gonna be my new go-to up here, honestly. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends, tell everybody about the channel because we are growing at a rapid rate and we're about to hit 4,300 subscribers. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next one.